Hello, Cancer. Welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading, so everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. Or if you're interested in more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel, Val 53 Tarot, which is a brief view as well. Thank you. I'll be starting by pulling your current or overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. I was going to say, I stopped to think, and then all of a sudden, there you are, Cancer. I'm like, not yet. Not yet. Almost, though. Okay, I'll get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, there's... Okay. I wonder what's going on here. Um, okay, you're definitely showing me... Well, two relationships. You're showing me two relationships. Two separate individual relationships. Um, I don't... I don't feel like this could be... I don't feel like it could be the same, but it possibly could be. Um, jumping into this immediately, what you're showing me, Cancer, you've had some type of breakthrough. I feel like whatever this breakthrough is, there is the relationship or a commitment to possible marriage here in place around it. You could have found something out about the situation, yourself, them. I'm not too sure exactly quite yet. Um, but what I do find very fascinating about this is immediately following this commitment or this marriage, there is that devil energy. So something here is kind of, um, well, it's taking quite a bit of your focus your intention, uh, your energy, there, there's quite a bit. I'm not too sure exactly what this is, uh, but not only that, there is some sort of complication or challenge energy immediately following it. So whatever this attention is or <laughs> intent is, um, it's causing a little bit of an internal battle, a little bit of an internal struggle, and it's making it very difficult for you. Now, it also is affecting you in such a way where it's making it difficult to continue moving forward with some type of endeavor. I don't know exactly what this is, but you're choosing ultimately to kind of push forward here towards some sort of new beginning or new venture. Whatever this choice or decision is, there's a connection here. And this is where that second relationship shows up. It shows up, but at the same time, you're not too sure what the future has in store for it or for the both of you. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers. I kind of feel like that devil energy is in a sense there's something or someone here you're just kind of unwilling to let go of. And I mean unwilling to let go of. So, let's see. Mm, okay. Okay. Okay, so whatever this truth is, you kind of feel like it will, I feel like this is an answer or a solution um, that you're definitely wanting to kind of try and run with. Because ultimately what you're saying is this breakthrough in clarity is somehow helping or aiding you in your financial or career endeavors. Um, you feel like it could kind of tick you to the top in a sense. Regarding the commitment or the marriage, things are definitely, that's fascinating, things are definitely not um, not equal, not balanced, not fair. This is something that you're ultimately kind of saying, I don't even want to really truly give to this. Um, I don't really want to invest in this. I don't want to, okay, things don't feel very even. Things don't feel even. Okay. Yeah, that's what I figured, Cancer. That's what I figured. Um, whatever or possibly whoever you're unwilling to let go of. Ultimately, what you're saying is I'm... 
yeah, I feel it. I feel the irritation. I feel I feel the irritation through the screen. Um, it whatever this is, it's very difficult. It, it's kind of putting you on edge, and that's kind of putting it lightly. Even it's making it very even because things are so very unbalanced and unfair in a sense. Um, it's almost kind of putting you in that same mindset too of being like, well, I don't want to be fair. I don't want to be kind of, you know, I don't want to be neutral about this. I don't, you know, it's, 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 it's irritation and frustration. Yeah. And it's making it very hard for, geez, geez, geez. It's making it very hard to even tap into the energy of love. There's love there, but it's just an energy of how do I get to it? How do I get to it? Because it's very difficult. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure with that. Whether it's self love or whether it's new love, but I can't. I kind of feel like it could be self love. Oh jeez, yeah. Yeah, th this is this is an energy of you. You're kind of at your you're, you're kind of at your end here when it comes to your patience and the frustration. You, ultimately, what you're saying is. I'm so tired and guarded, I just kind of feel like maybe it's just best to let something completely go or drop it. Um, I feel like that's what you're saying. I feel like that's what you're saying, but at the same time, you're kind of um, wanting to kind of push through and reveal more about the situation. Okay, so whatever this decision is, um, not too sure why, but you are showing me that this new decision or new path regarding the second connection is definitely possibly for some time it's fascinating it's you're showing me um financial opportunity i don't know why but is it like a new connection that you just kind of what is this You ultimately saying it's an opportunity to see where things go because there is this connection that you feel like in a sense could bring that happiness back but that's what's fascinating cancer um you're kind of how do i say this you're balancing relationships you're, you're balancing um it, you're kind of saying that the commitment of the marriage isn't going very well and now all of a sudden you're kind of looking off to the side at this other relationship or connection with you that you have with someone else and you're kind of like well this one isn't going so well let me focus on this one um, and even though, yes, there is possibly that genuine happiness and fulfillment from this, you're also kind of saying, um, I'm not going to deal with this over here. Don't look at this over here. I want to choose to focus on that relationship or connection over there. And instead you're, you're kind of, um, you're, uh, how do I say this? You're stretching yourself thin. You're stretching yourself thin. Yeah. Yeah, and ultimately, you know, because the future is <laughs> unwritten yet, um, you know, you got to make a decision about what am I going to truly do here? Is, is this path really the true path? Or do I need to kind of change course and redirect myself? Um, yeah, I kind of feel like with that devil energy there, it's definitely something you don't want to take lightly. You definitely to want to take this seriously because, again, you don't want to bounce relationships because you're just going to kind of carry over that energy into the next relationship and it's not going to be pretty. So, of course, if you are done with anyone, we do have showing up Capricorn, Gemini, and Pisces. Goodbye.